Hello there, welcome to Tiny Elephant. In this video, we're going to be making this rose granny square. So grab your hook, let's get right into it. We're going to start by chaining 4. And then slip stitch to the first chain. We've formed a circle. Chain 2 now, it is my beginning chain and it doesn't count as a stitch. I'm going to work 12 half double crochets into the ring. So go ahead and finish that, and I will meet you back here at the end of the round where we'll complete round 1. So here we are, we've reached 12 half double crochets. To finish the round 1, we want to slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Since we are going to work only in the back loops for next round, so I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet, but just in the back loop of it. At this point I want to mark the front loop of this very first stitch. So I'm not going to lose it when working into the back loop. Okay, for round 2, chain 2, again it doesn't count as a stitch. Make 2 half double crochets into the first stitch. Yarn over. Insert the hook into this front loop of the slip stitch. Then into the back loop, make a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Yarn over, pull through 3 loops one more time so we will increase in each stitch next stitch one and two go ahead and finish this round i've worked all the way around join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet again we are going to just work into the back loops i'm going to mark that first front loop again Chain 2, it doesn't count as a stitch. We are going to make one regular half double crochet, then followed by an increase in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook through the front loop of the slip stitch. Then into the back loop of that first stitch, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, yarn over, pull through 3 loops. Then work 2 half double crochets into next stitch. And repeat that all the way around. So a regular half double crochet, and then an increase. At the end of the round, join to the first half double crochet, and again, just to the back loop of it. Let me mark the front loop first. From now on, we are going to make the square. So chain 2, again, it doesn't count as a stitch. In the same stitch make a half double crochet. Again, insert the hook into the front loop of slip stitch, then into back loop of the first stitch. In the next stitch, work a half double crochet. So two half double crochets by now. Then work a double crochet into each of the following three stitches. Next stitch should be our corner. 
So make a treble crochet. Chain 3, one more treble crochet in the same stitch. It's the first corner. Move along next side. 3 double crochets. Followed by 2 half double crochets. Three double crochets again. Then we reach the corner again. Then we reach the corner again. Work a treble crochet, chain three, one more treble crochet. Let's take a look at this. That's what all of our sides and corners are going to look like. Keep going, I'll meet you back when I get to the end of this round. Close to the end, after the last corner, we need still the last three double crochets. That completes our square. Then join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. This time we take two loops. We need now just a round of double crochets. So chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And we are going to do a double crochet in every stitch. Except in the corner chain space. In the corner chain work 3 double crochets. Chain 3, and 3 more double crochets. Go ahead and repeat all the way around. Join to the third chain at the end of the round. Chain 3, we will do that one more time. So double crochet in every stitch. In the corner, again, 3 double crochets, plus chain 3, plus 3 double crochets. This is our last round of square. Join to the third chain. Now our square part is finished. Let's continue to form the flower petals. Now you can see the front loops of round 1, 2, and 3 very clearly. You can see the remaining loops left by us, 
and the first stitch of each round that we've marked. We will start working from these marked stitches. Since each petal consists of two stitches, we've marked the second stitch as well to clearly see these stitches. There are always four stitches between two petals. Count four stitches, then mark another two stitches as the second petal. The first round has two petals. The second round has four petals. and the third round has eight petals. And we want work from the inner circle to the outer circle. Insert the hook into the first loop. Pull up a loop. Chain 2. It's our beginning chain which doesn't count as a stitch. So in the same stitch work 3 half double crochets. In the next loop, also three half double crochets. Six stitches by now, chain two and turn the work. This chain two doesn't count as a stitch. So for row two, work two double crochets in each stitch. This should be the first stitch. Twelve stitches for this row. Insert the hook into the next marked stitch on the left. Slip stitch. Chain 1. For the next row, don't turn the work. Instead of working from right to left, we work from left to right. Insert the hook to the right of the stitch we just worked on. Yarn over. Pull the yarn through the stitch. There will be two loops on the hook. Yarn over once again. We will do that in every remaining stitch. A total of 12 reverse single crochets.
After the last stitch, insert the hook into the marked stitch on the right side. Slip stitch. That completes our first petal. Continue to form the second petal. Pattern is the same. Chain 2. Into this two stitches do the second petal. The stitches here are a bit tight, but still manageable. Just follow the pattern. Six stitches by now. Chain two and turn the work. Work two double crochets in each stitch. Twelve stitches for this row. At the end of row two, slip stitch to the marked stitch on the left, which should be the same stitch as the base stitch of first petal. Chain one and work a row of reverse single crochets. Slip stitch to the marked stitch on the right. That completes the second petal. Chain 2 as transition to the second round. Again insert the hook into the first loop, starting the first petal of the round.
Now I have three petals, the last one should be in this two stitches. Four petals for round two. Chain two. Insert hook into the third round. Make eight petals. With the completion of the final petal, our granny square is done. Cut the yarn and weave in the end. I hope you've enjoyed this pattern and see you in next video.